With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Our question is, for which of the following process energy is absorbed? Over here we are given four processes and we are supposed to tell that in which case the energy would be absorbed, right? So if we look at our option first is saying separation of electron from an electron, right? So now what we have to see is that energy would be absorbed whenever there would be attraction between two species, right? Energy would be absorbed, would be absorbed whenever there would be attraction between the two species right whereas in case of repulsion there would be no energy requirement right because with the force of attraction between two species we would require energy to separate them right so if you talk about first option they are saying separating an electron from an electron right now we are taking two electrons right they are of same charge right so we know that same charges repel they are same charges so we know that same charges repel each other so they do not have any force of attraction instead they have a force of repulsion between them right so there would be no energy requirement for the separation of two electrons then the second option is a proton from a proton now proton we know is a positively charged particle right so again the two protons are of the same charge right so again same charges would repel and hence there would be no energy requirement in this process as well right then the third option is separating a neutron from a neutron now in case of neutron again they are not charged but again they are of the same type right so again there would be no energy requirement for their separation as well right then our fourth option is separation or separating an electron from a neutral atom right they are saying that we are separating an electron from a neutral atom for example this is our atom atom contains of nucleus right that has protons and neutrons in it that has protons plus neutrons in it and then we have our shells that contains electrons right for example this is our neutral atom right so now what we're going to do is we're going to remove one electron from it right and now for example we had three electrons before and now we're going to have two electrons right so now this process th this would require energy right because there is force of attraction between electron and this nucleus right that contains protons and neutrons in it right so because there is force of attraction between them this process would require energy and energy required to remove an electron from the neutral atom is called ionization energy right we know the energy required to remove an electron from neutral atom is nothing but called as ionization energy right ionization energy so this is basically the amount of energy that is required to remove an electron from the neutral atom right so this is energy required and hence we can say that this process is the fourth one is requiring energy so our correct answer to this question would be separating an electron from a neutral atom would be the process that's gonna require energy so our answer to this question is option number fourth for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today